Did you know that surface finish, particularly cylinder bore surface finish, is absolutely critical to engine performance and durability, which is why we got this guy right here. You know, it's, it's interesting you say that because cylinder bore surface texture is the most engineered of any surface in the world. Right, and you do all kinds of surfaces. By the way, this is Mark Marburg from Digital Metrology. You are a surface finish guru, by the way. Mm -hmm. And you've done everything from like phones to golf clubs and all kinds of everything pretty much, right? Absolutely, it's, it's super cool being in a world of surfaces because everything has one. That's true. <laughs> Right, so even roads and things like that, sure. all these surface textures are so critical to performance. And you're saying that cylinder bore surface finishes are the most engineered of any surface Absolutely. in the whole world. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you think of some exotic, weird things out there. Yeah. It's your everyday car going down the road it has the most advanced engineered surface of anything. Well, I can tell you this, so as a certified lubrication specialist and a guy that's been around piston rings yeah. for most of my life, I can tell you that how you hone that box mm. is absolutely critical to how it's going to perform because that piston ring has to both seal and be lubricated. So the oil yeah. and how the oil interacts with that piston ring, we always call it ring seal soup. It's sure. not just the piston ring, it's not right. just the oil or the cylinder wall or the piston, it's all of them working together in harmony. Yeah. And what kind of brings them together is the surface finish because that's what retains the oil yeah. so it can be both the seal and the lubricant. Sure, it's, it's essentially that potential weakest link. Mm -hmm. If you don't get that potential weakest link nailed down, nothing else matters. And so as our good buddy Billy Godbold has told us over and over again mm -hmm. that you have to be able to measure and quantify sure. what you're doing yeah. in order to improve it. So if we want to improve engine performance and durability, right. then we have to quantify. You gotta be able to see it, right? Yeah. We can't change what we can't see. I love Billy for that. Billy's awesome when it comes to taking that picture and turning it into engineering, right? right. He sees it, feels it, and maths it. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what we're here to talk about today is, if you've watched any of our own videos in the past, you'll know that we're dragging around our handy dandy surface roughness gauge, a profilometer, and we're measuring everything. And we talk about, RK and RBK and RPK and forget about RA, it doesn't tell you anything. You well, know? all right, hold on, I'm gonna call time out. It, it's like taking your temperature. Okay. You, you might be sick yeah. or you might not. Okay, fair enough, <laughs> right. RA has some value, but when we get into what we typically do with say iron blocks right. and compacted graphite blocks, yeah. we're looking at that plateaued surface, we're looking at RPK, RK, and RVK to characterize that surface. Right. And those are numbers. Yeah. Which, that's helpful. Yes. But it doesn't tell you the full story. Absolutely not. I mean, so let's think about a, an engine bore. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple of functions. We've got to make it smooth on top so things are slippery, mm -hmm. and we got to make it carry lubrication underneath. Right. That's two surfaces. How would we describe two surfaces with one number? Yeah, you really you has a hard time doing that. Right. Yeah, you, you, can't. you can't boil it down to RA, that's one number. Right. So we have to think of a surface in terms of its parts, mm -hmm. and each part's going to need its own numbers. Fair enough. But those numbers can only tell you so much. Right. Because it's almost like the 2D picture. Sure. But sometimes you really need that third dimension. Oh, absolutely. Which is why this software that you've created is so important. So tell us a little bit about, about Trace Boss and why just you know, this can give you some numbers. And there are some pictures that come on this. But Trace Boss opens up a whole nother common you know, world. And then in combination with Trace Boss, we have Hatchview. Well, the profilometer can give you the numbers and a few traces. When you couple this with the optical microscope in Hatchview, sure. it's a whole next level of characterizing surface finish. So yeah. talk about what we got here. Well, yeah, so let's start out with the principle of what you just said, because what you said is so ignored. We as humans interact with surfaces all the time. True. I mean, a baby, the first thing they do is they touch something, look at it, and stick it in their mouth. Now, we're not gonna stick this in your mouth. Yeah, it might taste bad. But that's how we explore. 
if I give you numbers, you can't explore. Can't feel it. You can't feel it. You can't touch it. So by getting the picture on the screen, mm -hmm. getting the microscope sliding around inside, and like you're walking around inside, yes. you're using the other side of your brain. You've got twice the power now to understand the surface. Mm -hmm. And moving from an RA. Well, I say a picture is worth a thousand Absolutely. Words, I didn't so, want to use the cliche. Yeah, I'm, I'm good for that. You'll go there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So when we start to unpack a surface beyond a number, mm -hmm. we can think about how this is going to act when you touch it. Okay. So this picture gives me an idea of peaks that might get worn away or valleys that you know might carry a lubricant. Mm -hmm. The numbers can't give us that experience, like the baby putting the surface in their mouth. Oh, so yeah. let's use the other side of our brain, the experience side, and see where these things relate. For example, describe the metallurgy of the surface here a little bit, and then let's re relate it to the surface. Well, that's the whole thing. So we're here at LN Engineering, which is right. a Porsche specialist. Absolutely. Which is a Porsche KSAC in the back. Cool place to be. Isn't oh, it's a great place to be. Yeah. And unlike most aluminum blocks, yep. this is actually a alusil. That bore is actually still aluminum. It's not an mm -hmm. iron sleeve in there. Right. So there's no paw hatch in there. No. So the numbers don't, an RK, RPK, RPK can't tell you what the surface is. Right, so RK, RPK are really designed around a honed kind of surface. With a normal cross hatch and valleys right. and, and these. I mean, if we think of RK as the middle of the surface mm -hmm. and RPK on top and VK on the bottom, this surface doesn't have that. Right. This surface has... Aluminum with little silicon nodules that you call the Devil's Tower from Close Encounters. <laughs> you know, that's, that's so cool that, it, that this surface is completely different. So you right. can't characterize it with those same numbers properly. But my gosh, with this little tool, you can visibly see Absolutely. all the little silicon nodules around and you can begin to get an idea. This is what this surface is because... It can hold oil yes. just like a home surface can. Sure, sure. It just is different in what it characterization is. Right. So the numbers don't tell you that, but the pictures certainly do. The picture is incredibly important, particularly in a surface like this. So we've got a surface with a bunch of devil's towers sticking around out in yeah. the desert, right? So we got this flat world with peaks yep. with the tops chopped off generally. Yeah. A 2D trace might only get half of one of those peaks. Right. But once we put the microscope in the bore, we can see all of the peaks. We can mm -hmm. see around them instead of just cutting across. So this combination of a microscope view, which shows us top down where everybody mm -hmm. lives, and then a cross section to see how tall it is, is a perfect combination. It's almost like a map and then having street view. It is, right. <laughs> you know? That looks nice. Should I go there? No, no, that'd be nice. <laughs> a little sketchy, you know? right? Yeah. And that's what's really incredible about this package. So we're calling it what the... Cylinder surface system, right? Yeah, cylinder what? surface system. That's what we're calling this. Because before we just had... Yeah, and check out the display on this. Yeah. It's helpful, but... Yeah, that it little trace there is nice. It's nice. But you can see it so much better here. And then within Hatchview, you have the analysis zones and the material ratio curves. Absolutely. All the things you really need to see come first before the numbers. But the pictures yeah. are so valuable and you can see them so much clearly here. Right. And with those analysis zones, it lets you see those ratios. Right. Is my surface becoming too peaky? Mm -hmm. We can immediately see you know, a red band. Those are the peaks of RPK. Yep. And that visual connection of what is my surface going to do in the field? How did I produce it through the eyes of our human language, not a number, right. is so beneficial. Um, people ask me, what's beyond RA? Easy answer. The first thing beyond RA is the picture. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then you combine that with the microscope, right. and now you can begin to see that cross hatching, Absolutely. even on a honed bore, oh, and yeah. what it looks like run and unrun. Sure. That's one full, cool thing about this. You can take the bottom of ring travel and take part of the cylinder that's been run, part of the cylinder that's unrun, yeah. and you can start to see Absolutely. what's happening in the run engine. It's absolutely killer, mind blowing how much stuff you can learn by being able to characterize it beyond the numbers with actual pictures. Yeah, that was super exciting when um, you first had this in your hands, we were talking mm -hmm. and I was like, 
Lake is now inside the boar walking around. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. he literally started cruising around. You're like, that's from here there. It was so great talking to you in that moment. Yeah. It was super cool. Well, then, even on a home surface, you right. can start to see what that crosshatch angle is top to bottom. Sure. You can sure. see that variance. That, okay, Absolutely. Well, there could be some obstruction at the bottom of the right. cylinder for right main webbing where yes. you can't go all the way through. Sure. Well, the home head spins at the bottom momentarily. Yeah. And you can see that cross edge from the top flat. goes to basically nothing. Sure. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow. The reversal area and how clean are your reversals. Mm -hmm. Another interesting thing, and you haven't seen it yet because you deal with good surfaces. Yeah. Sometimes in bad surfaces, we can see non-cleanup. You'll see the boring marks through the honing, mm -hmm. which is really important when you're dealing with messed up geometry and mm -hmm. you don't get it back. Yeah. So another reason for walking around inside that the numbers aren't going to help us with. Yeah. So one of the other really neat things about Trace Boss yeah. is that you can actually save mm -hmm. the traces, save the pictures from Hatch View. Absolutely. So you can recall them. You're not having to like I me mean, with me, literally on my cell phone. My photo reel is nothing but pictures of a SA210. Right, I've seen your reel and I was wondering, is that your family or, you know, <laughs> exactly. some people take pictures of their food, their kids, their dog. Yeah. No, you've got SJ210 pictures. Right, right. So <laughs> this is going to be the best thing for my camera reel ever because now you can save it and then you can email them to people, right? Absolutely. If somebody else has Trace Boss, yeah, you can it send in. them the file, they can drag it in, they can look at it, and you're talking about the exact same pictures. You can look at the numbers. You can do everything the same. You can right. change the filtering on sure. all that. Absolutely. Yeah. And back to that visual mm -hmm. um, benefit is if you looked at last month's RK values mm -hmm. versus drag and drop, just drag and drop that fast. Yep. Last month's surface right into this month. Visually, you will see trends that the numbers don't show you. Oh, so maybe like the honing fluid is Absolutely. degrading or right. the stones are loading up. Something in the process, you yes. can actually see that process variation or deviation right. just by quickly pumping in and seeing that image pop. Right. Click. One of the cool things in Trace Boss is the scaling is fixed. So you'll never fool yourself. Ooh. Every time you drag in a surface, it's the same view of the other surface. That's a really great point. Because yeah. with the SJ210, it's all, always auto scaling. Right. And it can yeah. totally lie to you. Absolutely, yes. You know, yes. So, yeah, there's a picture there. Yeah, but it's not, it's auto scaling. It's yeah. not telling you the truth. Every picture fills the screen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> my optic. My, my, my valleys look great. Yeah. Well, your valleys are only 40 microns and right. they should be about 120. You got it. You yeah. got it. So, yeah, the ability to compare and quickly compare, drag, drop, drag, drop, you know, Two mm -hmm. seconds, you're flipping through a data set at a time. It's really a, a, like the flip cartoon. Oh, you know, you flip through the pages. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're flipping through the cartoon of last month's data. Cylinder to cylinder, potentially. Oh, absolutely. Right. Or top to bottom. That quick visualization with recall is super powerful. Yeah. Now, with one button, we can save the numbers, too. So you can make the spreadsheet of results. There's a, you know, send data right there. Click, yeah. boom, it's gone. So the numbers can be growing in the background and telling you the story. But man, the real power in making things better it's comes. Amazing. It's all. It comes from you had coupling that picture with your brain. Yeah, so with the experience. Yeah, absolutely. And then the, the picture, you can begin to create this little movie, like you said. In yeah, your head, exactly. Yeah. What's going on? What right. the trends are over time? Again, back to looking at the run surface versus mm -hmm. the unrun surface. Sure. You can start to create that movie in your head Absolutely. of what's happening, which gives you now more control and maybe creative ideas of, hey, you know what? I'm seeing this. Right. You know, this engine did X. Yeah. This other engine did Y. Yeah. Why did it do that? Sure. Because you can't feel it with your fingernail. Nope. You can't drag a penny across it and measure it. <laughs> You've got to have a tool like this or a system like this to take those numbers and get rid of it and create this picture, yeah. which is so much more powerful. Sure, sure. You know, so that's why I say, you know, the picture's worth a thousand words. Absolutely. I'm saying this is like a movie, right? It's worth a million words. Sure. Which is why the you know, cylinder system, or what do we call this thing again? I lost it. Cylinder again. surface system. Cylinder surface system is so incredibly important. And man, we can't thank you enough, Mark, for creating this incredibly cool package. So tell them if they want to know more 
about software like this? Where yeah. should they do it? Uh, digitalmetrology.com, just like on my shirt, digital metrology. Uh, there are a lot of packages way in the high end for the you know deep analysis, yeah. and then this fun stuff. I mean, this is where the fun is, is getting it right in your hands where you can take it with you. Well, that's, um, this, this is portable, right? Absolutely. In the field, in an engine. Yeah. It's not having to take sections and sort of right. the lab. Yeah. This is get your hands on, get dirty, make it happen, real stuff. Absolutely. It's, it's taking all of what we've learned in research mm -hmm. and putting it in the hands of the guy that says, I've got one of these, what do I do next? Right. So between this, this tool, and the software, it's totally next level performance. So it is, but let's let's not lose the fact that it's not hard to get there, right? You plugged right. it in and ran it. Oh, it's super it's, easy. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. So next level doesn't have to be hard. You just have a different measure button to click. Actually, way easier one. You just click on the screen. Yeah, right, That's right. right. Uh, sure. And sure. then you can save it. And then all these different features of, you know, what color mode you want. If it's in a dark environment, you can flip it around or you sure. make it light, yeah. dark. It's very intuitive yeah. and user friendly. But I think like the key thing I like said, it's moving that next level. Sure. How do you get the next level engine performance and durability? You got to get the next level cylinder surface measurements and that's going from numbers to the pictures absolutely i right, hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching thanks